In the wee hours of October 9th, this rocket is going to spectacularly smash itself into the moon. Why? Water. Water is the gold of outer space. It tells us about the possibility of life on distant planets and moons, as well as the evolution of life on our planet. There is increasing evidence of water on the moon. Orbiting spacecraft seem to have identified strong signatures of hydrogen, which is the H in H2O. So now it's time to go to the surface to confirm the findings. And that's exactly what LCROSS will do on October 9th. The spent Centaur rocket that launched LCROSS and LRO into space will impact the moon, sending out a large visible debris cloud. LCROSS will measure the debris for water ice. And so it'll be a 2300 kilogram uh, school bus impacting at about twice the speed of a bullet, about uh, 2.5 kilometers per second, so it's about 5,600 miles per hour, or uh, a little bit more than a ton of TNT uh, explosive. So this question comes up, are you gonna damage the moon? It's about a million times less impact than an eyelash falling to the floor of a 747 from a passenger. A comparable energy impact hits the moon once a week. LCROSS is an exciting mission in other ways too. Not only is it a very inexpensive and quick mission in space terms, but it also relies on citizen scientists. We think the ejecta cloud will be a magnitude five or so brightness, um, and that is very observable with a 10 inch telescope with good weather. And so we are, uh, we definitely have a campaign with the, a worldwide amateur astronomy team to observe the impact actually and we are calling on those amateurs to uh, bring their data into our data set, but that will be delivered then ultimately to uh, a publicly available site, so all those observations, including our observations and the professional observations, are accessible by everybody. So it's, it's, it's trying to, again, get as many eyes as possible from every possible vantage point on this thing. And what are the possibilities if water is confirmed on the moon? Water is a key component for the colonization of space. Um, also, water is an incredible resource, and it costs about $10,000 per pound to lift into low Earth orbit. If we can find water on the moon, we can use it as a resource. We probably wouldn't be drinking the water, uh, but what we'd uh, probably be using the water for if we found it was extracting the oxygen and the hydrogen out of it to make uh, rocket fuel. For future missions. But not only will the moon's water help us in the future, it can also help us understand our past. Understanding the source of water on the moon helps us actually understand the evolution of the entire inner solar system. So stay tuned or tune in yourself to see what LCROSS discovers. <laughs>